If y'all can see my coolant, I had it filled up to the top. Right now he's doing some kind of pressure test on it. And uh, that's how much coolant I it's just leaking out because I filled it up like not even a couple hours ago. And I think he's pushing it out now. He's doing some kind of pressure test on it. What's up, people? So I am broke down in Texas. I mentioned it in the last video. And this morning I got up and I was doing some sunflower seeds. Some kind of instant chatting with uh, or some texting between Shy and DCI. And I realized, I, I really honestly, I gotta tell you, sometimes I am very blessed when bad things happen. And, well, actually, not sometimes, most, almost all the time. And I could tell y'all story after story where there's been, like, I think a divine, I believe God's hand in some way works it out for me. So, with this particular breakdown, the problem, actually, I noticed it during what I thought was my pre-trip, but I couldn't find the leak. So, I actually stopped. I got the load that was supposed to pick up in uh, Texas, in Grand Prairie. And... I was going to pick the load up in Grand Prairie. I stayed in Dallas. I stayed about 30 minutes from where I was picking up. I stayed at the uh, TA in Dallas, the secure TA. Um, when I got up that morning and did my little pre-trip walk around, I noticed there was liquid on the ground. It looked like cooling. But in truck stops, sometimes you can't tell if it's a truck next to you because of where it, it was sitting at. So when I looked under the hood and I had coolant in the reservoir, now, normally, my coolant is at the max level. Um, it had come down a little bit because I left out about four or five weeks back from Arizona. And it had come down a little bit, but not anything massive. But then when I looked, when I saw what looked to be the leak, I was at the minimum mark. But it still was enough, you know, coolant. It wasn't empty. And I looked as I could, you know, I'm not crawling all the way underneath it. But as I could look to see if I could see any leaks, any drips, anything like that, I couldn't see any. So I have a little coolant and uh, I keep like, I keep containers of fluid. I don't think I don't have right now is oil, but I have everything else. I have like wash fluid and I have a little coolant and I don't have any coolant now. So I had a little bit of coolant left in the bottle. So I poured, I was going to pour that in there and I was like, I'll just wait. If I get, you know, warning, then I'll do it. And I know that it might like immediately me. Went ahead and drove to the customer, and as I'm getting into the customer, I got a little coolant warning. Well, I went ahead and backed in, and then um, got out while they were loading the truck, and I was trying to get the top off. Another driver helped me, because I don't know who it was. They must have vice grips to put that damn top on there. And I was trying to turn, turn, and he was trying to turn, turn, and we finally got it. You got to turn it slow, because it's under pressure, so you don't want that to pop out, because it can be burning. So we loaded it, let, a little, let the pressure out, a little bit more, let the pressure out. So then we started pouring the coolant in there. And he got it up to min level with what I had. Uh, left out. Driving. I get, I'm going to stop. And I was like, well, I'm going to stop, grab something to eat. At a truck stop that was about 10 minutes from the shipper. And after I got loaded, got everything, headed up to that place to grab something to eat. I wasn't even three miles from the off ramp. And the lights came on. Low coolant. And then the check engine light. I made the off ramp, stalled out, uh, pulled over to the side of the off ramp, got it started back up, hazard zone, got to the little truck stop I was grabbing food at. Went inside, got me a bottle of uh, coolant, went back outside, filled out the tank, knew that I had a problem. I said, like, you know what, I'm going to eat and think and plan. So I got on my phone, went to Trucker Path, tried to see what I had around me. Now, where I was at, I could have went backwards because we have a terminal. I could have probably went backwards to the terminal. But I figured if it was a quick fix, I can just keep going towards my destination. So I found a TA, and TA is usually a good one because they have repair facilities, on the way towards where I was going in Oklahoma. So maybe about an hour. Since I had filled up the reservoir, I just rolled the windows down and not use the AC because that's going to suck more <clears throat> of the coolant. And I fill the coolant all the way up. 
Um, I'm gonna cut in, which I did cut in on a previous video, but I'm gonna cut in what I did, what I saw last night when he opened the hood because it went through, it leaked out all that coolant um, that I put in because I had filled it to the top. So it was a severe leak. <clears throat> I got it to this TA and I stopped here. And I thought about last night, I was like, you know, I hate being broke down, but the blessing is where I broke down. When I talked to Trucker Bill last night, he said, girl, please. He said, you really, you really fortunate. You, he said, that's a good breakdown spot outside of Dallas. He said, you're right on the ed edge of Dallas. He said, you do have a terminal there if they, you know, if there comes a problem. He says, plus there's plenty of Freightliner dealerships there. He said, instead of being in the middle of nowhere. And I thought about it. It's like, he's absolutely right. He's absolutely right. So, only issue is I lost the load that was going to take me home. I was going to go home for a minute, which I really need a minute at home. Um, I was going to drop a load right up from our terminal and then roll up until Black Friday or Black Thursday. Um, so this is going to hurt me on miles this week. That's the only thing. The clean harbors must have needed to get some work done. Um, so they took that load and then they were trying to T call. I got a Wally World load on me. They were trying to T call this Wally World load off of me. And uh, then they canceled that today. So I'm most likely going to end up taking that in sometime tomorrow or the next day once this is repaired. But that may position me for a load home. So hopefully it will. Like my job manager is pretty good. So she'll, she'll end up getting it. Because I, I do need a little break even, just to get home for a minute and just kind of get off the truck. Um, but yeah, and then I want to roll, like I said, I want to roll until Thursday. And then I need to see about getting some of this stuff to the storage unit off this truck. So maybe today was meaning to get stuff packed up, which is what I'm going to do. Pour some more packing up stuff. Um, I really want to get this truck down to just two duffel bags. And uh, I do have another issue on here, which I might ask him about. My One of my things here. And I thought it was a trailer, but I think it's not. I think it's something in the truck. I think it's from the repair they did last time. I may ask about that. I have to look. Anyway, <clears throat> yes, tomorrow they're supposed to have this part. And I'm going here. I'm trying to decide if I was going to do a small load of laundry right now, which I don't feel like doing. Or just go get a shower. And I think I'm just going to go get a shower. I'll decide here in a minute. And uh, they do have a Boston Market here. I remember when they were putting this in at this truck stop. They used to have a boiled peanuts, but I don't think they had it here anymore. I've been here years. No, I've been here. No, I take that back. I've been here. Used to have a little country, a little restaurant in here, which was a little hole in the wall. It was, I don't think it was Country Pride. I thought it was something else. I didn't think it was Country Pride. It was some other little hole in the wall restaurant. And actually, when I came back in the truck and with the TV watcher girl, uh, we came here. And we ate at that little restaurant. She's very finicky. Um, but we ate it because I had a salad bar and um, they they type of Mexican food. It wasn't really the Mexican food, but they now put a Boston Market here. I love Boston Market. So, yeah, I think I'm going to get me a shower. And because uh, I got clean clothes, I just washed on my I washed the clothes on my 35 reset. I was going to wash this from my load, but I don't feel like doing that. So, I think I'm going to get my shower bag and head on in here and go get me a quick shower. Come back. We were supposed to T-call a little, but they can't they cancel the pre-planned T-call on it. But, uh, and I'm backed up right to it, so I'm not under it anymore. I'm detached so they can work on the truck, but I need to get my lock off the back if they were going to come get it. But I guess that changed. Anyway, y'all, uh, 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 it's just a quick check-in. But, no, I have been, I can tell y'all stories after stories of, situations that happen like where i'm supposed to be one place and then all of a sudden something happens and then i find out like i had a load coming out of arizona this is my right and during this time frame and i was like i was getting so frustrated because i was supposed to go into california and they were taking forever and i'm like i ain't got no miles da, 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 da. come to find out they had had an earthquake oh so have you missed all that i was like thank you jesus because it was drama with the load no drama with the load or something with the trailer i can't remember then back even when I first started out, I remember I was supposed to, and I was driving in, and I was supposed to go get a load in uh, Oklahoma, take a load to Oklahoma, and they had me go into a terminal and put me on safety hold because I had to do this class, because if you don't do certain classes, the company will put you on safety hold. So I had to do what they call a SIM class. 
and they put me on safety hold, so my load got t I got canceled off that load. The load that I was on got T-called in Lancaster, Texas, and I had to do the sim class the next day. And because of all that, I missed the tornado in Oklahoma, and it was right along the route I would have taken. Y'all, <laughs> y'all have no idea. I'd be like, I'm so blessed. Um, yeah, it's just like sometimes I just miss stuff, and um, and there's times as you get in this industry, I, I call it you'll get these inklings. Like sometimes I'll just pull over. I just have an inkling, and I watch another female driver on here talk about that. Something in her would just say, "Pull off the road." And y'all listen to that because I'm telling you, if you go back to like the 9/11 when 9/11 happened, and people who said they something just told them not to go to work that day, or something told them. Uh, they needed to leave the building or not go in the building. And some of those people that survived talked about this weird sense. Of, I believe that's just God telling you. Uh, God God kind of warning you. Because your time is not your time. So he's basically saying, hey, there's something going to happen and you ain't supposed to be there. And it's it's not like he sometimes just show up. Sometimes situ he just makes situ allow a situation to happen. So it's like a lot of people, I know but some of my Christian folks, they like, and in, in, until I come out of AME, which African Methodist, a lot of black people right now hate Trump, right? And they're like, I use, why do you say to God <laughs> that he's there? Because that's what God, because the Bible tells us God places kings. He didn't say they're always good. <laughs> he said it was always good. And I'm going to tell y'all something, a little story. Out of all bad, usually comes some good. It, it just does. I, mean, I can't explain it to you. It's craziness. But it's kind of like, out of all bad comes good. Out of the fall of man came Christ. I'm just saying. There's a lot of things that happen in this life. And what we got to realize is out of bad, something comes good. Usually, something comes out of it. You watch some of these people like Oprah, Tyler Perry, and they come from these situations. Some of them, you know, Oprah was molested victim. Tyler Perry was molested and, uh, I've come to find out, very severely abused by his, his, the guy who was called his dad or father. And he's an amazing artist now, you know, the, what he's done in his life. Out of all bad comes some good. Something comes out good in some bad. Now, in some bad, you do get bad, but usually something manifests out of it. I can't explain it to you. It is the weirdest thing, but something manifests out of bad situations. I can't even explain but, you know, you look at certain things and somehow you can find there's always that some ways, usually some kind of weird silver lining. So, yeah, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So I didn't like the Bushes. I didn't like the two Bush presidents either. I wasn't a big fan of them. But do I believe they're supposed to be in office? Absolutely. Do I believe Obama's? Yeah, absolutely. I believe all of them, every last one of them. Do I believe Pharaoh from, <laughs> from the time of Moses was supposed to be? Absolutely. Everything he did, everything he did was meant to happen. <laughs> it's just, just the way it is. I can't explain it to you. It's the way it is. It just really is the way it is. And it all leads up to a point. If we would watch, even in our own lives, if we go back and trace some stuff and look at some stuff and look up maybe the families that we grew up in and stuff like that, we'll find out that. Some of the stuff, especially if you grew up in a dysfunctional family and you're still breathing and living and, and things are happening and you, you know, you got to, gotta, hey, what can I learn from this? It's, it's how you, you turn your mind around. That's what my best friend told me. She said, you know, you could be crazy as hell based on how you grew up, how your mom was. I could. I could be off the rector. My mom is off the chain. To be as level-headed as I am based on what I grew up in, you have no idea. If I sat down and told y'all the story of my biological mother and how I grew up and all the stuff that went on in my house, you have no idea. You have absolutely no idea. I thought bad can come so good. My two brothers, they, I mean, granted, I think we all have some dysfunction. We have dysfunctions from it severely. I'm obese. I have another brother. We all were obese. But there's other stuff. There's other things that have manifested. They don't realize that that's what it is. I know that's what it is. Because oftentimes what happens, we're so used to riding our treadmill, we never go back and analyze our situation. We don't analyze why we're the way we are. And that's most people, what they'll do is justify the way they are. They don't analyze it. I got a friend of mine, a very close friend, and there's things that happen in his family. He has no idea he's dysfunctional. 
he doesn't understand why certain family members are the way are. I'm, I'm from the outside in. I can tell you exactly what the issues are. He comes up in a, in a family that has somebody who's very much one of his parents. I could tell was very much a control freak. She can shun them. Just she goes into the shunning where she won't talk to him and stuff like. And he tries to do that. You can do that to me all you want. I don't care. <laughs> it hurt me none. If he gets mad, I'm like, oh, okay. Um, he goes into a shunning. Okay. Because that, anyway, I had to clear off some video. Um, no, but everything else is good. Trucker Bill called. He got a new gig, 94K a year. Uh, he will be driving into Canada, though, now again. He, he did it before. Because when I started in driving Canada, he drove. But he's driving there. And uh, I might be looking at where he at. Because he doing, I think, the West Coast only. And uh, he goes up into Canada. And then... Uh, it benefits. I want to see what he tells me about the company first. And I used to actually take loads for that company when I first started out in trucking with the company I'm with. But they have their own, they do have their own trucks too. So, furniture company. Um, So he called me and told me he got that gig. Um, I think he had a couple of offers and that was the one um, he did. He'll be driving for about three to five more years and he's retiring. Retiring out. And then uh, I'm making some decisions here as to what I'm doing at the end of the year. And I'm going to be getting all my apps and paper out here. Probably once I get home. That's when I need to sit down. Not this time. But I, well, I may have to get some out this time. I got to talk to D-Boy Stans because she worked for one of the companies I'm looking at. And uh, I want to ask some questions. Um, because that is an owner op situation. Well, you can go company with them, but I don't want to go company with them. If I go to them, I'm going owner op lease purchase so um and then they, they are a training company so I could train with them but I like their training from what I know of their training program it's better she left before she actually started training but she did get her certification to be a trainer you know I don't know who this is but people leave a voicemail um anyway so that's it nothing else going on y'all I'm gonna go in here and I think I'm just gonna do the shower I was gonna wash a little load of laundry the showers are right next to the laundry room if I remember this this TA and I was going to wash me a load of laundry. But I don't know. I just roll my bag in there and I have everything. I have, I've set my laundry bag up as a, also a secondary shower bag. So if I do laundry, I also do shower at the same time. So I might do that. I'm trying to decide. I know it's just being lazy. I do. Because I'm stuck here for a whole nother effing day. Well, I'm stuck here until tomorrow. So carefully, they get this part and put it in his truck tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm hoping they do it early. So I'm going to check in with the It's in the morning. And make sure that this check because they supposed to call me when they had a part. So I'm checking with them. And I'll also talk to breakdown because I need to ask them to check that too when they did a part. So they may have to amend the order on what else they have to work on. Anyway, y'all, two and two, y'all be blessed. Peace.